Do you want to hear some creepy pasta, Cyber Shell? I want the creepiest of all pastas. All right, this is called I Hate You. But this isn't one of those haunted game stories. At no point are you going to hear me claim something within the game reacted to my words or force me to punch myself repeatedly in the face. <laughs> it's a shame, because I, I would like to have heard a story about that, frankly. It sounds like a great story. Absolutely. This isn't about a glitch or a hidden satanic message, and at no time did I phone Nintendo headquarters only to have my questions answered with hushed whispers or anguished screams. <laughs> this guy's a little too... Uh, this has to be fake. This story is about a game feature I don't think anyone else has unlocked. That's it. No ghosts. No conspiracies. Just a secret we were all supposed to find, but never did. Something that changes an entire generation's childhood and the very essence of a multi-million billion dollar franchise. A million billion dollar franchise? <laughs> it's million, then billion. It's a lot of billions. Mark. Yes. That's about nine zeros, which I believe is trillion. But going back to the story. All right, this is fake. This is about what I assume to be a previously undiscovered... Wait, no, I'm sorry, no, that was me, by the way. I was trying not to break character. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Well, okay. <clears throat> anyway, back to no ghosts, no conspiracies. Just a secret we were all supposed to find but never did. Something that changes an entire generation's childhood and the very essence of a multi-million billion dollar franchise. This is about what I... Inflection, man. It's million billion dollar franchise. It's multi-million billion dollar franchise. <laughs> This is about what I assumed to be a previously undiscovered alternate ending of Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. In 1996, I received my first computer as a birthday gift. I'd been on the internet before, I'd used computers before, but I'd always been in a school or at a friend's house. This one was mine. All mine. I explored the crude prehistoric web of the time with great interest. <laughs> prehistoric web of the time <laughs> I downloaded all sorts of pornography and, <laughs> and even printed it out <laughs> I downloaded all sorts of pornography and even printed it out which made absolutely no sense I also pirated media like a madman <laughs> music Games. Anything. I hate you! <laughs> this is where I first discovered Mario World. I'd never had a Super Nintendo as a little kid, so it was all new to me. I downloaded tons of games along with the SNES emulator, but Mario World was my favorite. For over a decade, the same Mario World ROM was my time-wasting hobby. I played it over and over again, beating the game faster and faster until I began to lazily explore the worlds with no particular purpose. Game Genie codes helped immensely. I could turn off the timer and relive a particularly entertaining map, excuse me, and particularly entertaining map for an hour as I waited for a download or any number of boring events. It was in this manner that I must have beaten and rebeaten the game thousands upon thousands of times. There was comfort in the obsessive compulsive behavior of this routine, but all of that was shattered when I saw the blind boo. <laughs> the blind boo, as I refer to it, was hovering over the exit from the haunted sunken ship level later on in the game. I call it blind because it had actually had no visible eyes. It was like someone had made a lazy ROM hack. But I knew from years upon of years of experience that this was a normal game. The blind blue just hung over there for the exit pipe. Blocking it. I turned my back on it, but it didn't chase me. How could it? It didn't even see me. Then I noticed something else out of sorts. Putting this picture in the stream. Look at that. That's a picture of the blind boo right there.
this is not a ROM hack. I can tell from years of playing the real game. <laughs> there was a key and keyhole misplaced above the exit. Keys and keyholes and such are ways of ending a level in an alternate manner and discovering a secret area. In case anybody didn't know that, by the way. Um, <clears throat> still, this didn't belong there, and I knew it. For a moment, I considered the fact that I'd actually broken a ROM file from overuse. <laughs> Did you try blowing on it? <laughs> After taking a screenshot specifically to show you all Mario Brothers fans out there, I picked up the key and opened the, quote, door, unquote, figuring the game would seize up and I'd have to restart. Instead, it opened up a new path on the map selection screen. There it is in the stream. Yeah. A whirlpool next to Bowser's already creepy head cave thing. I pressed the right arrow and moved to the whirling train. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Even the statue is crying. Even it's like, oh god, no. Yes, it's reading this story. Oh, oh god. man. That's good. Love the blood turns like fucking purple as it hits the water. <laughs> I like how Mario's drowning too. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> oh, God, no. This didn't really strike me as odd, because if you're familiar with the Mario World game, <laughs> there's, a, <laughs> there's an area called Star Road that you may note has similar names. Similar names to, oh, God, no. <laughs> when did that happen? Like World? tubular? <laughs> Just the same as, oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh wow, actually. Just stuff like tubular and awesome and all manner of dumb words and phrases. Most of the areas were called Vanilla Forest 1 and Donut Mountain 3 and all that. But there were maps with odd names like that. What did concern me, though, was Mario's expression. Surprise. Shock. Fear. Looks like he shit his pants. I entered the map. <laughs> Oddly enough, the whirlpool in the middle of the lake began with the standard, quote, castle, end quote, entry animation. Mario walked up to a castle door, looked up, then went in. I could tell it was underwater, though because of the bubbles that periodically emerged from the sprite's mouth and floated to the top of the stream. Inside the castle, it started to look more and more like I was, in fact, experiencing a glitch. It doesn't look like a glitch. There was no room to jump. <laughs> no room to do anything but run left and right. I must have gone right for 10 to 20 minutes just holding the B button and running along at full screen. 10 to 20 minutes. <laughs> After a while, I ran into one or two blind boos in the darkness above, then three or four. Then the screen was full of them. And they formed, oh God, no. I'm just going to wait for the stream to catch up there. <laughs> Let's go back in a little bit for a second here. So oh, they're cute. Then the screen was full of them. <laughs> they just kind of hung there doing nothing. They would have chased me if I turned back, as with the previous blind boo. If I made any noise, like Mario's jump sound, they would kind of shudder a bit. <laughs> it's like they heard the sound of Mario's movements, but couldn't do anything about it. Then something made me stop and turn the other way. <laughs> I ran back giant... the other way for 20 minutes. Please tell me it's a giant blind boo. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely not a ROM hack. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<clears throat> Sorry. Oh my God. Now I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that this map was designed specifically to screw with the player. Not because the giant, quote, bleeding bill <laughs> was hemorrhaging profusely from its face because it, it was inescapable. There is literally no way to avoid being killed by it, as you can clearly see above. That is, unless you're like me and you have the Game Genie cheats on hand. I switched on the code for permanent invincibility. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I let the bleeding bill chase me for a while when I was invincible just to get a look at the thing. I stopped and I killed it with my invulnerable touch only when I saw a message that hadn't been there when I passed before. I hate you. That <laughs> kind of creeped me out. But on the other hand, it was kind of interesting because it meant this was definitely a map that was supposed to exist. What? There was some sort of plot element here. Something undiscovered. What did it mean? <laughs> Who hated me? <laughs> King Koopa seemed the obvious answer. <laughs> or maybe just the ghosts. When you're in a haunted castle that you found by way of a haunted ship, a bloody looking hate message isn't so unbelievable. I saw it again as I approached some giant booze. <laughs> Please tell me they have no eyes. So spooky. <laughs> I was thankful the blind blues ended at this point because the more I watched them shudder, the, un the uneasier I felt. Almost empathic huh? toward them, etc. etc. <laughs> the thankfulness ended when I turned on my back on the giant booze. And this happened. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Why do they have vagina mouths now? <laughs> like in the anime vein on their fucking head. <laughs> what the hell? <sighs> Giant booze with faces I hadn't seen before. They always looked mad at being awake and angry that you were invading their haunted houses across the Mario World Island. This was different. <laughs> and they looked gleeful. Demented. I could see right down their throats, which seemed odd <laughs> given the lack of detail their mouths usually displayed. And yes, of course I'm going to address the message you saw in the picture. <laughs> why wouldn't you die? <laughs> I don't know why. Am I supposed to? Who's asking? I let the giant booze touch me, and they died like the bleeding bills of which I had encountered two. Despite any attempt to scare the player, I knew that being invincible meant invincible no matter what they threw at me. After a while running down this strange claustrophobic corridor with no more eventful happenings, I came to a room with an exit pipe. Taking the pipe downward, I came around the other side and dropped into a room filled with water. The water made sense, this being a stunken castle that would be the world full enough. <laughs> <laughs> I was rewarded uh, I was rewarded for my troubles with a question mark block that released a mushroom for me. I could have easily have done this with a cheat code, but the thought it escaped me as I locked, faced all these new strange sites. The first creatures I encountered in the underwater portion of the castle were thwomps. Unless you've been living under a rock since the mid eighties. <laughs> <laughs> you know, thwomps are stone-like square creatures that hang from the ceiling and fall whenever you come near. They try to crush you, essentially. Well, these thwomps, lined up in a, a tight row, dropped repeatedly and randomly with no real trigger or any sense of logic. They would just <gasps> wait or drop whenever they seemed to feel like it. It also looked like these thwomps oh, God. had been very successful thwomps. Whose audio was that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> it's haunted. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. This is so dumb. <laughs> They're very successful. <laughs> they are very successful. I guess the, the mark of a successful swamp, really. Yeah, when he said successful, I figured they'd be wearing a suit and tie and have, you know, money on them. <laughs> These are CEO walks. Have you been living under a rock since the 80s? <laughs> I guess I have. So, so that's a lot of cherry tarts smashed. Um, more cartoony blood. This is getting pretty <clears throat> unusual for the Mario Brothers franchise. <laughs> which I, I guess it's like, oh, it's unusual now. Look at this cartoony blood. <laughs> I hadn't recalled seeing blood in it at all. Now I had seen it used three times. The bloody bills, the messages, and these perpetually smashing, grinding thwomps who are working their victims. <laughs> who? Who? <laughs> Into pulp forever. Are you reading along with me, by the way? I can't not. Okay, just make sure. Shit. I'm emotionally invested in this. Who? 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 Could it be Mario? <laughs> In the hampering it... effects of the water, I walked slowly <laughs> under these things, making sure every single one touched me and died. <laughs> <laughs> there are almost 30 of them in a row. The sight of them mindlessly crushing over and over again just made me hate them with an unsettling intensity. The fear is that that blood caused Mario to slide as if he were on an ice level. That's the only weird part. <laughs> That's the metaphor they all love, too. It's slippery like an ice level. That's like Serious? That. That's all I can compare anything to. Your your narration is reminding me of a uh, of a machine for pigs right now. I don't know if you've played that yet. I, but I have not. I just much love this guy. He's like, this is the third time I've seen blood. Something's up. I like to. This is the third time I've seen blood. First the bloody bills, then the, it's like, yeah, I read the story. Thank you. We don't need. Previously on, I hate you. <laughs> Two paragraphs ago, we saw... Oh. After walking through the... God, I love this. I love when they do the, like, the overwrought metaphors. To, after walking through that <laughs> gauntlet of depravity, I swam into a more open area that was filled with spikes on the blood and ceiling. It was Floor. Difficult. It was difficult to swim in this matter without touching the spikes, but since I was still invincible, I didn't think that much of it. I avoided them for more. F oh, I avoided them more for fun than out of any sense that I'd be damaged. It stopped. I have these game awful. genie codes. God, do you remember me mentioning that? <laughs> it stopped being fun really fast, though. <laughs> <laughs> now I knew some of what was going on. The bloody mess the thwomps were unendlessly spattering. It was other Marios, past Marios, that had tried to traverse this level and failed. I had to admit, this was an excellent touch, even if it was a bit ghoulish. <laughs> ghoulish! <laughs> A bit. That's just him complimenting himself on this writing. <laughs> it was an excellent touch. <laughs> Whoever had designed the map actually broke the fourth wall and showed you the bloat. <laughs> <laughs> broke, hmm. broke the fourth wall and showed you the bloated, motionless abortions of the player's own careless treatment of Mario's tiny life. <laughs> <laughs> if only they were permanently invincible like me. I feel like this guy was taking a creative writing class at the time. <laughs> I have a feeling he found thesaurus.com at the time. <laughs> the bodies only floated straight up and down a tiny bit as if they show the effects of a light current. What the? <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, wait. <laughs> the bodies only floated straight up and down a tiny bit as if to show the effects of a light current. <laughs> it was genius. And I couldn't believe I might be the first and only person to ever see this. <laughs> I toyed with the idea of taking more than one screenshot I just presented to you, basically so all of you reading this could enjoy the secret map as much as I had. Especially this weird little touch. But... But... <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Without oh swim... Hmm? He's being chased by bloated abortions. <laughs> <laughs> Reminders of the player's <laughs> carelessness. <laughs> without swimming, without kicking or moving in any way, the dead Mario started to come back at me like torpedoes. <laughs> torpedo Ted's. Hoeing torpedoes. <laughs> <laughs> Bleeding Ted's, they're called now. Bleeding Ted's. <laughs> Their faces remained blank and blue and dead. But they moved with astounding speed. They angled and positioned and worked all sorts of unique trajectories that left me almost nowhere to move. They continued coming at me and swarming and backing up to try again, and I just couldn't bring myself to let them touch me. <laughs> but he's invincible permanently. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> oh, my. oh, God. It's happening again. I moved with more speed and skill than I'd ever exerted. <laughs> Frantically trying to keep Mario free of the drowning victims that seemed dead set on rocketing straight into him. They when I torpedoes. finally reached a purple exit pipe you see above, there had to be ten of those things right behind pitching, turning, and chasing me. I entered the pipe as fast as I could, thankful it worked properly and had Mario out of that situation in a heartbeat. The corridor that followed was empty, thankfully. It was just a blue underwater hallway of sorts with nothing to avoid or kill. It was boring and predictable like the game had been all those years. Which, <laughs> all those years? Which, which brought back a sense of safety. Uh, at the end of the hall, I came to the standard, standard, standard pair of doors you'd enter to face the final boss. Beside the doorway, a mushroom power-up. Oh, what? that's nice. No, wait. Take a look. Also, he's out of time. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? It's... That's so spooky. Look at the face. <laughs> I call it a bloody shroom. <laughs> bloody shroom who looked like my mom a little bit. Look at hey, that mom. Oh, are you are how you doing a bloody mushroom? I didn't touch that shit. <laughs> going, through, going through the door was as you'd expect. The typical change of map views occurred and Mario was standing on the ubiquitous bridge over boiling lava. I am 90% sure ubiquitous is a completely wrong adjective there. Probably. Or had it been blood all along? <laughs> the boiling lava was blood all along? <laughs> That's a plot twist. That's wow. funny. M. Night Shyamalan. Fuck. I never, I fun. never knew that. All right, that's good. <laughs> it was careless Mario fucking. Blood. <laughs> when Mario walked onto the bridge, however, there was no gross boss creature. Instead, Mario immediately looked to the side and froze. I couldn't control <laughs> him anymore. He just stood there. I gotta make sure I frame this right in the stream. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yep. <laughs> Keep looking until you see it. <laughs> I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it at first, so I don't expect you to notice it right away. If you still haven't spotted the thing, <laughs> look. Look in the third window from the left. What is this fucking Where's Waldo? <laughs> like, you couldn't find the thing that I edited in. It's the third window. It's the thing Mario's looking at. If you still haven't spotted the thing, look in the third window from the left. F. Y. 
eye. That's <laughs> not usually there. Mario seemed to regain his composure, back and forth slowly, surveying the room. There was still no boss, and I still couldn't control him. So I stopped trying and just watched. This went on and on for what seemed like forever. Nothing happened. Then a familiar face walked in from the right, dressed in green, tall, and angry. <laughs> it was Luigi. Mario recoiled in horror. It's difficult to say that without thinking how crazy it sounds, but Mario really reeled back with a sort of terror that was uncharacteristic for such a peppy, happy-go-lucky <laughs> mascot like him. Then Luigi spoke. <laughs> I hope that comes through on the screen. <laughs> Look at Mario, he's so fucking startled. <laughs> Wait, what's the face in the window? It's still there. <laughs> FYI, it's not normally there. This level that's not even in the fucking game. He said third window from the left. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, right. <laughs> you thought Koopa worked alone? <laughs> oh my lord. It was all connecting now. The message scrawled on the walls. I hate you, and why won't you die? Luigi. He's always been Mario's second banana. The player, second too. Second banana? This is a fucking creepy pasta. You using the phrase second banana? What the fuck? Creative writing class. <laughs> He's always been Mario's second banana. The player, too. The one who doesn't get the princess in these early games. No matter how identical he is to Mario in skill set and ability and tenaciousness and bravery. <laughs> tenaciousness <laughs> and bravery? And skill set and ability. <laughs> At the end of the day, the game is Super Mario Brothers. And he's just the brother. How? Oh, God. They're both brothers. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? How he must have hated Mario. Who among us wouldn't? Think about it. No matter what happens, Mario always comes back. No matter how many corpses he leaves littering the battlefield, he always there coming for what we Sorry, litter littering the battlefield. Can jealousy bloom on the battlefield? <laughs> No matter how many corpses he leaves littering the battlefield, he's always there once more to leap and cheer and get all the adoration. And Koopa hadn't worked alone? I didn't know what it meant at first, if anything, but again, you just have to think it through. How exactly does King Koopa consistently succeed in kidnapping the princess? From day one, from the original Mario Brothers onward, it had always been an inside job. Still unable to control the car character, I watched Mario simply cower in fear as Luigi <laughs> leapt high into the air, as high as he could in Mario 2, the bastard child of the franchise. <laughs> <laughs> he just said he was identical in skill set and ability, but now he's saying he can jump higher. <laughs> That's bullshit. It doesn't even look like he's jumping higher. He's jumping no, lower than fucking Mario. He's not going to make it to Mario. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> this is incredible. What happened to Mario's invulnerability? <laughs> he jumped on the pathetic, weeping Mario again and again and again. I was powerless to stop it. <laughs> when he was done he seemed to look at Mario's limp body with this overwhelming rage look at that fucking Over rage look at his eyebrows overwhelming it's, rage. it's so overwhelming <laughs> and the bridge started to disappear soon Mario would be dead as I looked on I had an irrational thought would this be permanent 
Oh shit, it's counting down. What the? <laughs> it's like a comic book now. Wait, what? Is... This is ridiculous. Might have been better as like an animated GIF or something instead of just a series of fucking pictures where you can't even tell what the fuck is happening. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> All right. We, um, within an instant. As Luigi seemed to turn to seemingly strike a victory pose like he'd beaten the level, Mario awkwardly got to his feet and took him by surprise. <clears throat> fear and okay. fear and sadness and confusion had given away had given way to anger. <laughs> and Mar- fucking Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> and Mario overpowered his brother with little effort. To this day. I'm still haunted by the final result of his wrathful reprisal. Superman, help. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. No. (laughs) It all comes full circle. There was the map's title. (laughs) So that means it was scripted to happen, that he was never in any danger. None of this was a glitch. None of it was a mistake. It wasn't a developer getting back a Nintendo, and it wasn't a ghost haunting a Nintendo cart. It was a planned, purposeful part of the Mario Brothers mythos. <laughs> mythos. <laughs> if, you beat, if you beat the same level X number of times, a secret part of the world opened, and you learned that from Mario Brothers through Mario Land. Luigi had been secretly working against you, and was in fact facilitating the repeated adoption and abuse of the princess. Abuse? But why? Money? Power? No, it was all there. Because he couldn't take not being the one in the spotlight, not being Mario himself. After Luigi died, well, well and truly died. <laughs> well and truly died. <laughs> Mario just sat on the bridge and wept. Edge of the bridge. I was forced to watch this for minutes on end before the screen <laughs> Look came at black. Him fucking crying. <laughs> I played the rest of the game through to see if anything had changed. Nothing else odd happened as one would expect since this whole deal was supposed to be part of the actual full story. I couldn't access the world pen again. I'd seen the events once, and that was all I was apparently allowed. It was back to the game as usual. The same exact game I'd played since the 90s, and would probably continue to play for the rest of my days. Well, it was the same. Except for the final image. Look, <laughs> 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 he's just like, crying, and Mario's just like, oh, get out of here, you asshole. What the fuck? I called wow. him Bloody Luigi. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mario's just angry. He's so pissed. He just looks really annoyed. <laughs> You're ruining the picture, Luigi. <laughs> Stop being dead. Stop being bloody. You're making Peach cry. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <coughs> God, that's awesome. What you get for being second banana? <laughs> Oh, God. That is awesome. He didn't even edit, like, a question mark in, so it's not, like, the end. (laughs) (laughs) Always second. This is the the canon official mythos of Mario (laughs) Brothers. (laughs) 